Hello everyone. Welcome back to the mechanical studies. In my previous video, I had introduced expressions of first law of thermodynamics. Now it has been found that students make mistakes in selecting correct form of first law while solving numericals. That may be because of lack of understanding or confusion between the terms like open system, closed systems, control mass, control volume or non-flow and flow processes. So with this consideration, I have made this video to clear all such doubts. So let's begin. If we focus on the type of the systems, then thermodynamic processes can be categorized in two different groups, non-flow processes and flow processes. Non-flow processes are those carried out in closed systems in which mass transfer across the boundaries is restricted. Since there is no flow of mass throughout the system, the processes carried out in these closed systems are called non-flow processes. For example, here a fixed mass of gas is enclosed in piston cylinder device which is heated eventually. So you can see here the volume of gas vary here but the mass remains fixed. Okay, That's why this approach is also called as control mass approach. Control mass approach. So this closed systems is control mass approach. Okay. Thus the utilities or devices in which non-flow processes are carried out are this rigid tank, piston cylinder device, IC engines, reciprocating compressors and reciprocating pumps. On the another side, flow processes are those occurring in open systems which involve continuous flow of mass across the boundaries and that's why the processes carried out in open systems are called flow processes. For example, you can see here a working substance flows continuously across the boundaries through a fixed volume here. As you can see here, the volume is fixed whereas the mass of the substance can vary here and that's why this approach is called control volume approach. Control volume. Okay. Thus, open system is control volume approach. Thus, here the utilities or devices in which these flow processes are carried out are these nozzles, turbines, axial compressors, pumps, heat exchangers, all kind of heat exchangers. So once you understand the difference between non-flow processes and flow processes, it's very important that you should choose correct form of the first law of thermodynamics. So in case of non-flow processes, you should use this expression of the first law, Q minus W is equal to delta U. Remember here, this is Q net, W net and that is equal to delta U. So this is the correct form of first law that you should use for non-flow process. Okay, And for flow processes, you should use this expression of first law of thermodynamics which is also called as steady flow energy equation SFEE steady flow energy equation okay now if we consider thermodynamic behavior of a working substance then thermodynamic processes both non flow as well as flow processes can be of these cases these types first one is isochoric process that is constant volume process. Second, isobaric process that is constant pressure process. Third one is isothermal process where temperature is constant, constant temperature process. Isentropic process where entropy is constant. 
then isenthalpic process that is constant enthalpy process and the last one is polytropic process which is a general process so remember here as i said you will find these cases in both non flow as well as flow process categories but don't forget here that you should choose these expressions of first law of thermodynamics while analyzing non flow and flow processes okay irrespective of these cases i hope this video will clear your doubts and help you in understanding non flow and flow processes on different platform thank you